AI for the last 13 years, startups have overwhelmingly prefer to build on top of AWS. We're the largest number of services, making it easy for you to take on some of the biggest challenges with the smallest teams. We also have partnerships with the top VCs, accelerators, and incubators around the world, making it easier to secure your next round of funding. I'm a solution architect uh, with the AWS uh, Xtart uh, program. Uh, what we do is uh, we work with startups in the uh, education sector and we help them build their um, uh, services on AWS. So we Power Tech is AWS's diversity and inclusion outreach program. The program is really twofold. One is to increase the number of underrepresented technologists within the industry. And the second is to provide a platform for them to be seen and heard. If you're wondering how the AWS There's a reason why for the last 13 years, startups overwhelmingly prefer to build on top of AWS. We have the largest number of services, making it easy for you to take on some of the biggest challenges with the smallest teams. We also have partnerships with the top VCs, accelerators, and incubators around the world, making it easier to secure your next round of funding. I'm a solution architect uh, with the AWS uh, Xtart uh, program. Uh, what we do is we work with startups in the uh, education sector, and we help them build their um, uh, services on AWS. So we Power Tech is AWS's diversity and inclusion outreach program. The program is really twofold. One is to increase the number of underrepresented technologists within the industry, and the second is to provide a platform for them to be seen and heard. If you're wondering how the AWS evangelism team might be able to help your startup, there are many ways. We're technically credible across our entire catalog of products, so we can help you figure out which services might be able to meaningfully impact your business. We also want to help tell your story, so if you're building something cool, we want to know about it and help spread that message to the world. So you might end up on stage at a event like AWS Summit. If you're a startup, you should also definitely check out the AWS Lofts. These are event spaces that are free to anyone with an AWS account. And you can treat them like co-working spaces, but the awesome thing about them is that we also have people like technical evangelists like myself, solutions architects that come and give hands-on technical workshops and sessions to help you learn how to more effectively utilize the AWS products and platforms products and platforms that you're already building on top of. We are a dedicated team of people that love startups. So we just want to come and help you with whatever we can, whether it be technical or business focused. We are here to help guide you and make sure that you know you do have a say in what's going on. We do get your feedback. We do bring that feedback to the service teams. That is what we're here for. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our startup line chapter, Okara. And today we are so much thankful to the speaker who is here with us. And thanks for watching the video from the AWS, which is uh, our new uh, global sponsor for Startup Grind International. Uh, so now this is the time to welcome our valuable guest and who has a very international recognition already. But let's welcome him here. Welcome, sir. Uh, how are you? I, the show is in English or in Urdu? Uh, obviously, sir, this is in English. This one is in English. Waalaikum assalam and thanks for giving us your nice time. Can you hear me properly? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear my voice? Yeah. OK, sir. First of all, uh, as you know, the lockdown situation is happening around the globe. And what uh, you are doing as today's our topic is uh, during this lockdown, uh, educating the people and making a platform for the entrepreneurs and uh, you are the one who's working in all over Pakistan and also in the whole world. So what would you like to say uh, in these situations? What is uh, uh, the things happening like Rehan University and you doing something very nice on social media? So what you would like to say? So this Corona situation has allowed the planet to evolve faster than it was supposed to. So anything which was supposed to happen in five years in the technology world and 
uh, on the planet now because of corona uh, more people are using technology and more people have to use technology in order to evolve so all of a sudden there is an influx of learners uh, on the internet there is a whole demand of the on facebook youtube internet service providers laptops computers everything is in high demand all of a sudden and uh, online education which has been ignored uh, is evolving uh, people who were used to doing something are no longer are going to do something new and different uh, and that is what uh, has been happening for me when it started uh, people were not taking it seriously so i started making videos about how to home and how to do things during this time but now uh, i am in full swing and i'm hiring more and more people i've hired i think five more people this week and i'm going to hire 50 more people in the next coming months uh, one or two months maximum um, because the uh, i am able to find more people who are keen to learn and a lot of people who have to switch their jobs are now ready and want to learn uh, how to work from home so we have launched a new platform which i'm very very excited about and this platform will allow anybody in pakistan and other countries to work online instantly and uh, it will be more like an uber for employees so we will hire them we will take, train them we will take care of them we will rate them and people around the world will be able to hire a, a virtual assistant or an intern for as low as $100, $100 a month. Um, and uh, we have around 6,000 applicants in the last four days. And we are working very hard to make a platform where people can filter them, find the people they need. And uh, very soon we will also have an app where people will come in and just just uh, do like they, they do on Tinder for finding uh, relationships they would be able to find employees very quickly and they will be able to search and find their passions uh, very very quickly and hire them in a click of a button um, that's something which i'm very excited about um, at the same time a lot of people who did not have computers we have also started another project where we are giving out laptops for as low as six and a half dollars a month for people to buy and at the um, and these are very low cost uh, Lenovo laptops, um, 500 gigabyte hard disk, 4 gigabyte RAM, very de decent machines uh, for just around $70 for the hardware. And we're giving it on installment. So you, you own the machine in a year's time. These are the two things we have started. And uh, I think the whole world is moving towards Zoom and online education and online dinners and online conferences. It's a very exciting time for people who are in the field of technology. All right, sir. Uh, and uh, during this lockdown situation, Rehan University, uh, is this, you just, uh, just like you taking on board only the virtual assistants, are you are educating them also or something like uh, uh, more and more things will happen in this? So in the last 25 days, we have created 25 new classrooms and uh, we're teaching different things to different people. And what has happened is that we, we cracked something which I'm very excited about, that we found a way to simulate the classroom. So one of the biggest problem of online education was how do you create the classroom environment where people, where the teacher is there, the student is there, the peer pressure is there, and people have to um, compete with each other in order to you know, go forward in the classroom. So what we're doing is we're using uh, WhatsApp and we uh, have created small little classrooms on WhatsApp and we take eight to ten students in a classroom and then we broadcast that classroom on facebook and youtube and that allows the uh, a lot of a lot more people to learn so thousands and thousands of people can watch the class going on live ask questions interact with our students and our teachers and at the same time um, um, if 
one of the student is not performing well, we can threaten them. Oh, if you're not doing well, we're going to kick you out of the classroom. And it's, it's done in front of everyone. So there's a huge pressure on the class um, related to this issue. And WhatsApp seemed to be doing extremely well because the, WhatsApp creates a lot of anxiety um, because you see people coming in, you pe see people leaving, leaving the rooms, leaving the groups. So we're using WhatsApp groups, and it seems that Rehan University is being reborn on WhatsApp right now with 25 classrooms already, and we're creating like, since we have become really good at it, we're teaching, we're adding like a couple of classes every single day. And um, I, I, I'm very excited on this opportunity, which we are getting for ourselves, and I want to educate others on how to do this. So we, are, we have a class right now where we're teaching how to use this technique to others. And at the same time, we're teaching video editing, virtual assistant jobs, uh, interviewing jobs. Uh, we're doing ulama training, which is we're training muftis on how to use the internet to broadcast themselves, and use broad YouTube to broadcast themselves, collaborate and uh, connect. Which things which I've been trying to do for the last 18 years and I was not successful. All of a sudden, in one in one month's time, I've have a huge success. We have 700 ulamas right now in line to learn from us on how do they get educated online, which is fantastic um, number um, to start with. And it's doing very, very well. Good, so nice of you. Uh, and keeping in view the challenges as uh, you travel abroad and you know the difference from other countries and from uh, the, the things which is happening in Pakistan. So how do you believe that Pakistan is doing something very great from the other world? Are they are working the same like the startups of Pakistan and the startups of other countries? how they are doing and how startups of Pakistan are working in this current situation of coronavirus. So there's a learning curve in working from home and working from the computer. At the same time, it's a very powerful thing what has happened. All of a sudden, a startup living in the United States, startup living in Israel, startup living in India, Pakistan, they're all equal because they are all no longer living in a city. They're all living in their houses connected through the Internet. So there is no more difference between a person living, you know, in New York or Karachi or Okada or U.S. The boundaries are no longer there, but they're still in our heads. So by doing these stream yards, these uh, these Zoom meetings, it is allowing us to evolve very quickly and create teams around the globe rather than within the city. Normally, people would say, oh, why don't you come over for a cup of tea? Let's meet and see if we can get along. Now it has changed to let's do a Zoom meeting and see if we get along. So the borders are going to disappear much faster in the next few months than we have ever imagined. And this gives a very fantastic learning opportunity, collaboration opportunity for the startups to work with the teams around the globe. Um, it's dissolving, but it's not dissolving fast enough. But I think in Pakistan, uh, especially what I was doing in the last five years of intermingling people, connecting people from around the globe, uh, making mentors. So I think um, a lot of people are going to take advantage of the trainings we have been providing and things which we were doing, uh, especially my foundation was doing. And that will give them an edge over other countries. I haven't seen any other country uh, doing stuff which we have been doing in terms of using social media for connecting and dissolving borders. So I think that alone gives us a huge leverage um, and we can do fantastic, huge things right now from Pakistan because we're no longer in Pakistan. We were never in Pakistan. We were always living on the Internet. And now we're literally living on the Internet. People are sitting in their homes and living on the Internet and they can do things which they, you know, slowly they will evolve it, you know, to realize that they were living on the Internet and they can do anything they wanted to do on the Internet. And they are going to do those things. Yes. So, uh, what kind of challenges you think the challenges, the original challenges 
in this coronavirus is is this an opportunity or coronavirus is a challenge um so for me this is a fantastic opportunity for our country and for other countries like ours um to to evolve ourselves faster to evolve ourselves using technology even more to evolve ourselves um and do things which we did not think were possible online education is on the rise in the last one month everybody has went online so imagine the 70% of pakistan which did not have school colleges and university everybody is now working on learning management system which is called lms everybody is focused on teaching online everybody is focused on uh, taking advantage of the internet it what it will do is it will empower the rest of the country which was not educated which was not using um, these technologies and they could have used it before but they just were not but all of a sudden they're all forced to do that and a few of them will start teaching thousands of people millions of people not just uh what is it uh, not just hundreds of people which they were doing before so a school which had 400 people when can now teach 4000 people and instead of charging uh 10 a month they can start charging 3 a month because now they have scale and they will make more money out of that so i think it's a fantastic opportunity for all of us if we take if we look at it like this and not waste our time sitting at home doing nothing we should start learning how we can evolve and we can we can scale we can do things for much ma- bigger market than we're used to doing all right so as you know covid 19 and the situations of the other things like uh, some startups who are working on health are, are uh, trying to create some kind of uh, uh, health startups so what kind of idea you have for pakistani health startups how they can be a part in this situation to help their governments or help the health institutes so ideas are dime a dozen you can see what people are doing around the globe and you can just copy and do it it's the execution which is the problem people are not able to execute ideas so ideas are not necessarily for me to do it's something you can look around everything uh, people Uh, we created nai.pk 6 years ago and it was too early now is a perfect time for people to launch something like nai.pk so anything to do with online uh, shopping online selling online everything is going to at, to be at peak so everyone should think how can we do what we used to do online and the, with the power of technology and if you do that you're going to make more money than you used to make so if you're doing if you were an accountant and you're out of job if you just start to think how can i do this job instead of doing it from from office how can i do it now in new york how can i do it now in sweden how can i do it in london so that i can make 10 times more money than i used to sitting at home so these are the opportunities which are for everyone so startups who were thinking just for pakistan they now can think of everyone because the product you make can scale to everyone so um one of the opportunities is again is high, the most powerful education is one of the opportunities health most people cannot do much in it because in health sector you need physical equipment so if you are into mechanics and mechanical stuff you should create products like ventilators and other products which people are creating and uh take advantage of that um if you are in the health sector you can use more software you create more apps and services which people can sit at home and do so as i said earlier everything will go online everything is going online at a faster speed the in pakistan the whole digitalization would have taken another 10 years now it will happen in one year's time which means that everyone who is doing anything if you start doing it online you already have three times bigger market uh, just within pakistan for everything so it's a fantastic time to learn new skills and evolve 
and this is just a glimpse of what has to come when artificial intelligence comes into play other things come into play people will need to evolve and change themselves and they can start doing that right now all right all right nice going and uh, you have wonderful ideas always uh, <laughs> and uh, how uh, we can uh, just control on our just like thinking or thoughts or feeling some like uh, it's like some uh, somebody's feeling a lot of fear because the number of these patients are growing and uh, everyone is locked down at the home uh, and that is good that uh, the mind things are good the health things are good but how to control on our uh, things like having depression or something so how you overcome on that and how you would like to suggest to our viewers whenever something new comes there is pain whenever a baby is born the mother goes through an extreme amount of pain 100 years ago for um, you know one out of four mother used to die just giving birth so similar things will happen a lot of people will die number is has not even started to grow it might reach 100000 people will die or a million people will die a lot of people will die because of this and we can't do much about it right now um on our level unless you're a bioscientist and you can create a vaccine or something like that but it's i think it's going to get, enter the humanity will enter into a new phase and that will be a very powerful phase uh for everyone to enjoy in the future you know all change is difficult it's hard uh but it brings something new and as far as what should they do they should they should just remember that it's a pain it's not real it's just fear it's not real fear is a false emotions appearing real they're not really real and uh, do a lot of meditation um at least an hour a day half an hour a day as much as you can um uh, to focus your brain to making it back and making it you know less and less emotional and more and more logical so it's it's a lot of people will have a lot of problem but anxiety will not help you a lot you will need to uh, relax and see what you can do with these things rather than getting ex over excited and thinking that there's so many problems all right so uh, here are also some uh, a lot more attendees are here with us and we would love to ask them some questions but uh, at, as for now um, what you uh, have to like uh, uh, if 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 we tell you something like uh, this and that but you have already uh, some good things uh, to show to the public to uh, to tell to the public so uh, i i would like to tell you that uh, uh, how can you imagine the things uh, in your own, uh, own thinkings because a lot of persons can't do this the things which you do properly uh, and having decisions very fastly so uh, where did you get this kind of training that as you told all these things and uh, the new comers and the persons who are here with us they they must have to know the what's the reality behind this all strong personality how, how you done this and how the others can follow you so everything which you do comes from practice if you start failing a lot then you will no longer be scared of failure if you have never cooked a egg or fried an egg in your life the first three times the shell it might drop into the frying pan but if you keep on doing it you can play with the egg and you can still uh, do your uh, you know fry your egg Sim as simple as frying an egg requires practice uh, everything in our life requires practice so i encourage all of you to uh, as i said it's a brave new world out there um, enjoy it uh, have fun with it and the only time you will have fun with it is when you are no longer scared of it 
And the only time where you will not have uh, fear of it is by doing practice, by embracing it, by looking it in the eye and saying, I'm no longer going to, I will choose not to be scared of you and uh, start doing it. You will fail just like a small little child tries to walk, fails. And then he tries again and try 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 again and keep on trying. And eventually you will be successful. It will not happen just by reading about it or looking at Rehan's face or looking at somebody else's face. It will come by practice, by failing. Um, and that's the only way um, you, you will succeed. Another easy way is, easier way is to find friends and crazy people like yourself who will allow, who will accept your failures. So if, if six people are sitting with us in this room, uh, their friends, they, they are now going to become friends and they can, they will help each other. They will encourage each other and say, okay, good job. Let's try it. And, um, eventually you will succeed eventually you will thrive eventually you will grow uh, initially it's scary uh, so i invite all of you to start teaching whatever you know at 4 p.m pakistan standard time we have a class where we teach how to teach using Streamyard and facebook we also have 20 other classes going on every class is free there is no charge you're more than welcome to join our classes uh, we are going to um, uh, we, what I want is everybody should start teaching what they know already. And, you know, I'll tell you a story. Today, I asked four people, uh, what would you do if you have a million dollars or 15 crore rupees in your bank account? What would you do? So one guy said, I will teach everybody YouTube. The other guy said, I will do um, agricultural and technology uh, to do something with that. And the... Uh, so two of these guys said, I said, why do you need a million dollars for this? Oh, I want to do it physically. I said, how will you do it physically? There is Corona. Everybody is sitting at home. Why don't you start doing it on Zoom or StreamYard? So he started thinking about it. I encourage you to join our classes. You will find peers. You will find other people who are like you. And um, if you, when you start teaching people, people start coming to you because they are looking for you. Rumi says, what you seek is seeking you. What you are looking for, others are also looking. So just we are just scared of trying things, or trying something new. Just don't be scared. Make an attempt. And uh, when you start doing something, you will see the way. Uh, the, the path will appear when you start walking on the path. You cannot see very far away. You can see a little bit steps, few steps, four steps, one step. Start walking the one step. And you will see the second step and the third step and the fourth step. And slowly you will get there. Just keep walking. Don't stop yourself from walking. <clears throat> keep going, moving forward. And that is the uh, phenomenal formula for getting successful. Uh, and uh, it's really uh, the thing that you have to be very very much in this situation that try again start again try again start again uh, and it, it, these are the amazing thoughts which you share with us today uh, so can we ha have some questions from the attendees can you allow us of course would, would you like to go to question answer session or you would like to just <coughs> The whole thing has been question and answer. You're more than welcome to ask anything you want. All right. So nice. So first of all, I would like to ask Tariq Aziz. Uh, and then after that, the other persons. Uh, I have to mute, unmute them. And Hello, Tariq Aziz. How are you? First of all, thank you very much for giving me the chance uh, to uh, great uh, to ask the question. Uh, sir, uh, when you start uh, this and uh, I follow you, uh, meanwhile, I attach with Imran Bhai and uh, 
we learn some uh, different techniques uh, according to uh, digital marketing and video editing. So my question is that okay, how we can implement in uh, in such circumstances because you have a platform, but we have uh, we have not a platform to uh, execute uh, execution our knowledge uh, which we have learned from Imran Sahib. So I don't really understand the question. Imran, maybe you can translate it to me. Uh, yes, he, uh, can you please repeat the question, Tariq Sahib? Uh, yeah, sure, sir. So my question is that, can we, uh, as you know, if we, uh, last five days we have attended a class and we done uh, something. How we execute? Because we don't have a platform. Sir, uh, Sir Rehan have a platform. Can they uh, provide us a platform to uh, which we learn? We execute for other persons, with other peoples. Yes. So what do you want to execute? You want to start a train station? You want to start a TV channel? What What exactly do you want to do? So I want to uh, uh, interview different peoples. Who has stopped you? I have also a video editing tool. All right, so uh, okay. Tarek, you tell me three passions of your life. I can't hear Tarek. Uh, I really can't hear anything. Maybe you can take some here. Okay, sir. Okay, I I, I can repeat it. And uh, the things uh, the Tariq Bhai is asking that uh, how they can do also grow like without any platform, like a famous platform, uh, as you have done a lot uh, hard working. So as a startup, because they have achieved, they want to do something and they want to know that how they can also create a big platform like yourself. Can he tell me how to grow a baby which is 20 years old from a mother? Tariq sahab, can you please reply? Sir, sir uh, please repeat the question. Iran, can you repeat the question? Do you know how a baby is grown in the lap of her mother? Well, that's not the question. Definitely, How sir. to make a 20 year old baby? How to make a 20 year old baby? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, sir. It's not a game of uh, uh, within days, within hours. It's a uh, slow and steady procedure. That's the answer. Keep on doing what you're doing. Very simple, slowly, passionately interview people there are a lot of people right now who are willing to give interviews um and who are willing to take interviews a few years ago there was nobody so start small um there are i think imran rana imran himself has done 500 interviews so what you can do is you can go back to those interviews which he has done listen to the interview okay. and then ask the same person and I saw your interview and I have these four questions. Can I interview you and can you answer those four questions for me? And they will be happy to answer them to you. So you have okay. to be curious. My other question was, what are your three passions in life? Why, what, what do you love to do even if you were not paid for it? So my first passion, I uh, related with the pharmaceutical industry. I want to spread my pharmaceutical knowledge uh, those people who want to uh, recreate their own business. I would like to help them. Secondly, I have experience, 14 year experience of real estate. 
I can learn a lot in uh, real estate. I can uh, uh, spread all my knowledge, all newcomers, investors, as well as the uh, as uh, investors and buyers sell both are uh, uh, facing problems. I can uh, through my channel, through my YouTube channel, I try my level best to uh, solve these uh, problems. And third, uh, I I want I which I have I have total I myself is empty, and I gain again I I learn something, like you are uh, uh, teaching, and I learn from you and pass it again again and again to other people. Uh, what would you do if you have 10 crore rupees sitting spare in your bank? Sir, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I uh, create an institute to those people who want to do something, but they don't have uh, resources, they don't have knowledge, they don't have the technicalities. I try to uh, facilitate those people. Okay, so why don't you start that institute right away? Why are you waiting for 10 crore? Sir, I'm starting. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, uh, Imran Bhai, with the help of Imran Bhai, I st started uh, in the real estate sector. I, uh, uh, my opinions, my guidance, for all my uh, uh, real estate uh, uh, peoples. And now I want to come uh, in, uh, in Turu site as a host. I want, uh, I learn from Imran Bhai and now I can, uh, I want to execute the knowledge which I gain from Imran Bhai. What is the name of your institute? Uh, I'm from Lahore. What is the name of your institute? Sir, uh, Tariq is this uh, dot com. T A R I Q A Z W -E Z D O T dot C O M com. YouTube channel. What is what do you want to call your institute when you have fifteen crore rupees in spare? Sir, the, that question is, is mine because I want to. Uh, I that is my wish. You uh, recognize the name. Yeah, this question is, uh, I'm lastly, uh, the, um, I tried to uh, give me a name, which is great honor for me. Give me a name, which is, uh, which makes me, which recognize me. Okay, I think I think that we have to give them a chance in Urdu so they can elaborate easily because it's making I, them a lot. Will, what I will do is I will take uh, I will talk to Tarek one on one and he can take some students. My suggestion is that whatever his mother or father's name is, just name the institute after his mother or his father. And if your father's name is Aziz, then just call it Aziz Institute, and uh, just take it and because. In future, technologies will keep on changing. Uh, you just call it institute or an academy. I would suggest call it an academy, Aziz Academy, and then use Aziz Academy and start teaching what you know. So you know two things. You know pharmaceutical and you know real estate. So what you do is you go in Facebook and search for pharmaceutical groups. Then you join those groups and you start interviewing the administrators of the groups and build relationship with them. And once you have relationship with them, you ask them, I would like to interview somebody else. I would like to interview somebody else. So, and then they will ask you, what do you do? So you can tell them, I run Aziz, Aziz Academy and in Aziz Academy, uh, under the Aziz Academy, I want you to come in and I want you to mentor our students or, you know, I run this place and I help people uh, doing this. And you can also start small little classes like Rana did you can charge them a thousand rupees uh, and then you just take 10 students out of that group. You will find 10 students and you will start making some money from that class for one hour. Uh, 
for one hour a day for a week's class having 10000 rupees is not a bad amount of money that's only 5 hours for 10000 rupees and you will make 10000 rupees in 5 hours right and now you have students who will bring you more students and they will bring you more students and you will become a better teacher by teaching them uh, charge them less money 500 rupees if you want to but charge money because zero has no value and slowly start teaching pharmaceutical whatever you know and uh, related to real estate whatever you know and use those broadcast you can cut them and make them into small videos and then upload those question and answer session on your youtube channel so all of a sudden you have two shows you have two training classes you have a lot of videos and you will start making decent amount of money in a month's time it's a very simple process you don't need a lot of students you just need few students to start with and you can find them in different facebook groups you just go there and you just say i am going to teach a class for 5 dollars if anybody wants to come in and i will teach basics of pharmaceutical industry and they are all into that industry they will be very happy to come right sir <clears throat> i would like to invite you to join our 4 o'clock class to join and to learn how to teach using whatsapp and stream yes <coughs> thank, you. thank you so much tarik aziz sahab now we have to move to the other attendees also uh, so and uh, ravinder ji do you have uh, any question for sir rehan allawala and uh, you can discuss can you hear my voice ravinder ji Um, uh, dear umair do you uh, do you want to ask any question anyone want to ask question so please raise your hand yes dear umair brother ji yes. assalam yes. alaikum mulana uh, bhai and rehan allah wala as well uh, thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to speak to you actually rana uh, bhai already know that uh, i am yeah i am pakistan but nowadays i'm living in canada and uh, i was thinking for a long time to start a youtube channel or a facebook channel and uh, start teaching people as well uh, uh, include uh, i want to do actually two things uh, together at the same time i'm like teaching as well as uh, provide information regarding uh, immigration student visa because uh, before came to canada i was living in shanghai china as well and i have a lot of information uh, related to a lot of immigration and pr process about uh, different countries so i was uh, thinking to start this process so that i will be able to educate the people especially in pakistan those who want to move abroad and uh, they do not know how to start the process and what the procedure is <clears throat> but since i learned from iman although and we all know that we can learn from youtube and all those other uh, social media platforms as well but what you know that learning on to uh, face to face is a little different than learning in youtube because you cannot ask question you do not know what to do if you are stuck somewhere so i was just wondering that if i want to grab students <coughs> out of pakistan and like it from different countries like canada us australia and these kind of countries instead of all the way from pakistan or india then what could be the best you can go to facebook groups and just uh, type facebook group australia of something and then just go and find people over there before you start advertising inside groups i suggest that you build a relationship with the group uh, start um, with the administrator interview them and uh, start there you can always find people now from facebook groups okay thank you yeah. so uh, akhtar bhai you have any question akhtar bhai can you hear me
Mm. After why we can't hear your voice? Wait. Yes, please, after by speak. Now we can hear. Sir, I would like to talk about Urdu because my English is very weak. Can I? Yes, please. Yes, yes. Say it, please. Okay, sir. I am a follower of Rehan Allah and I was in the laptop and I was in the chakra that I could get a laptop and I could work in freelancing. I know a little bit of video editing. तो मैंने ऐसे फॉलोअर उनका जो वो प्रोग्राम था कि आप 500 दोस्त मेरे कॉपी कर लें और उसके बाद इंट्रोड्यूस कर लें और उसके बाद आपको फ्रीम लैपटॉप मिल जाएगा तो उस वो अब इन्होंने वो देना शुरू किया है कि आप किस्तों में वो ले सकते हैं ठीक है उसके लिए भी मैं सर्कल कर रहा हूँ को किसी तरह से लैपटॉप मिल जाए तो मैं ये काम कंटिन्यू कर सकूं ठीक है उसके बाद इनका भी जो प्रोग्राम है डॉलर्स का हंड्रेड डॉलर प्रोग्राम तो मैं उसमें भी पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहता हूं तो उसमें मुझे गाइड करें कि मैं क्या कर सकता हूं इमरान भाई इफ यू कैन काइंडली टेक दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ � uh, okay, thank you, uh, Akhtar Bhai, uh, and uh, we would uh, we would like to ask any other question from uh, uh, I think Ravinder Ravinder Singh ji. Ravinder ji, can you hear my voice? Uh, okay, and also uh, Sheikh Ishtiaq Ahmed Saab. Sheikh Ishtiaq Ahmed Saab, can you hear my voice? Okay. Saf bhai, do you have any question? Okay. All right, all right. I'm I'm unmuting you. Yes, Saf bhai, please speak. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. Jee jee. Assalamualaikum and uh, nice to see Rehan Allahana and uh, thank you to inviting. Us uh, and uh, sir, uh, we really follow you and uh, we really respect your uh, mission and uh, we will really, <coughs> we will support you and this mission to uh, freelancing to contribute our knowledge with peoples. But uh, uh, I will ask you just one question that uh, I need uh, uh, like uh, I want to interview the business peoples the businessmen. Uh, so how I can uh, reach him and how I can get him to uh, convince them for interviews to live? I think I already answered that question. Um, go to the groups, different groups. First of all, you need to find your passion. Once you know who are you uh, and you find your passion, I think I don't know if uh, Imran asked that question to you when he started training you, you have to know who are you before you can do something. What is it that keeps you drugged oh, for eight hours a day without eating anything, without you know listening to anything, without any money? So once you find who are you, you can do anything you want. But first you have to find out who are you, become passionate about it. If you like cricket and you play eight hours a day, you will get selected or you will you know eventually do something. But if you don't like cricket uh, and uh, you start playing it like me, you will not go, not go anywhere. So do what you love so that you can practice a lot. And when you practice a lot, you become good at it. And then when you're good at it, everybody will come to you. You don't have to go there. Um, there is also a group called um, Interviewer Training. You can join that group. There are 700 people in that group who want to do interviewer training. So since you have done that this course, uh, you can start messaging them and you can ask them that, can I interview you? And they will be very happy to give you an interview.
Is there anything else, Imran, or are we leaving? Um, All right, sir. Uh, so this was the question answer session. And thanks for everyone who participated in this. And if you have any other questions, so you can write down. So uh, we will try to give your answers uh, very soon. Uh, and uh, we tried everyone to uh, get in here. Sheikh Saab, can you hear us now? Sheikh Saab, please speak. Announced degree in 2011 and previously I have become in 2003 and started my private sector in from 2018 there. Oh, sorry, okay. This may be the internet okay, I think that there are some issues with the voice, but that is okay. Uh, thank you so much, Sir Rehan Alawala, for being here with us. And it, it was a really amazing talk. And what you would like to say to our special international viewers uh, in this corona situation, what is your message of the day, of today? As you know, the numbering with uh, what's happening around the world and uh, the message for the whole world in this corona situation. I would like to invite them on a Facebook group of ours called the Planet Union. And the Planet Union okay, is your, uh, I think your internet is, is not working correctly. Okay, we will move to Muhammad Hussain. I would like to invite all of you to the group called and the planet union and it's the union of the planet where people from all over the world can come and unite and collaborate and co-create uh, and find the passion select the passion and start working on it and uh, corona has allowed us to be finally become humanity a new version of humanity is coming to the planet where all, all of us are together it doesn't matter what religion what color what caste, what nationality you have, Corona has showed us that it doesn't, it affects everyone and all the human beings. And uh, as collective humanity, we can empower each other, help each other, take care of each other. And after post Corona, one of the biggest problems in the world will be more poverty. And we will need to figure out problems to solve this global hunger problem and poverty problem. And that is what I live for. Uh, my mission in life is to end poverty from the planet. And Corona is going to create more disbalance in poverty, parity in the world. And uh, if anybody out there is working on, uh, on the poverty issue, they're more than welcome to join me and uh, help this cause. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thanks a lot, sir. It's really a great honor for us all. And thanks, viewers, for being here with us. Uh, it was really an amazing talk. So this was our uh, just today's because uh, Startup Grand Virtual is the very new of its kind. But uh, we are trying our more level best to make it more and more easier for the whole chapters in the world. And Startup Grand is working day and night for doing some great initiatives and the things. So thanks everyone who attended uh, today's session. And it's really amazing. And uh, we shared a lot uh, amazing things. And we listened a lot amazing things. So hope to see you soon with uh, another episode of this. And till that time, uh, before, before leaving, before leaving, we must have to uh, listen our uh, attendees here. And uh, let's take a look. So uh, what would you like to say, uh, uh, Sheikh Saab? And anyone who can hear so they can speak, please. About, uh, Sir, first of all, uh, thank you very much. You have a great effort to arrange such a chapter. And uh, we are really obliged. And we never thought we'd uh, talk to bhai, and um, um, we are highly motivated. Uh, all my colleagues are highly motivated as I am talking with you. Uh, I have no words to express the uh, uh, views. And uh, I must say that you have done a great job.
and allah bless you thank you sir thank you sir keeping in view the topic our topic is that how to uh, and today's our speaker is rehan allah wala but the topic was that in this lockdown how to utilize our uh, things like online uh, things online platforms so everyone share what they are doing in this lockdown yes saifullah uh, and akhtar bhai and uh, uh, ravinder uh, first i would like to ask ravinder ji because they they was not able to speak sheikh saab was not able to speak and akhtar bhai please turn by turn yes please carry on dear ravinder ji can you hear us okay you speak yes saifullah hello yes please yes uh, thank you very uh, thank you so much and uh, this is a, a great show which i never see before and uh, thank you sir and thank you rehan allah 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 bless you all uh, i will uh, uh, tell you one thing that in this uh, uh, situation uh, i i think so every person have the great time to learn about uh, uh, digital marketing because this this time is uh, and you do not have anything to do you don't have any business now you do, so you are relaxed at home so it's better you can uh, learn something and you can uh, 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 and uh, to show to people that what you learn and the people of uh, our nation they can learn from you and uh, this i think this, this is the great, great time because when uh, i will tell you a little story of my if, if we have time yeah you yes yes please uh, uh, please be quick because we have to sh uh, stop the event we have to finish the event so please be quick not a small, small story but uh, i will tell you one thing that uh, for me uh, i i was just sitting here in my room and just sitting here there and using my mobile so i i feel bored and uh, uh, made, made this cycle like this so when i see the post and uh, i join the group and when i see this uh, course is which uh, sorry the rana mohammed iman impact group uh, <clears throat> which i see this courses and when i finish this courses so now uh, and my mind is clear and i learn something and i can teach uh, something to uh, our people so i think so this is the great time that uh, you make your life digital and you come to digital media and market thank you okay any uh, anyone have to see any other thing Uh, someone would like to say something so hurry up please uh now sir it's time to execution we we'll learn in 5 days uh as we we'll learn a lot now is a time to execution you give us the knowledge and now our, our responsibility in the during the long, lockdown situation we will uh, execute and we uh, deliver all the knowledge to our uh, through uh, uh, your platform to rehan allah platform to the other people now it's our turn to spread uh, the knowledge which we have gained all right thank you so thank much you, so nice of you and uh, now i would like to say a big thanks to all of our viewers and hope to see you soon with another uh, our event because uh, now we are just Uh, be able to brought the events virtually and uh, we, uh, we all are just thinking very much uh, good in the future that hope this corona situation will go away and we will move back to our uh, 
the, uh, the routine lives. And then we will be able to show you the big, huge, huge events. So till that time, take care. See you. Bye-bye.